Okay, so then let's define the phi function. Phi is a simple function. Uh, phi i is equal to um, p, okay, another name, p uh, i mod n. So uh, you can see that uh, we have i, j, k can be any number, okay, it could, they could be large numbers. So we take the modulo n, so we make sure that this is, uh, the result is from 0 to n minus 1, okay. So what is p? Basically p is just a shuffled array containing numbers from 0 to n minus 1, okay. p is a shuffled array containing numbers, integers basically, from 0 to n minus 1. Okay? So, this, uh, with this we have everything we need. We find the intersection, point P, uh, using ray uh, object intersection. Then, uh, at the intersection point, we compute the surrounding integer coordinate lattice values, the eight uh, values that we have, okay? And then uh, we, by applying these shuffling functions, we select the edge vector to use for each uh, lattice point, okay? So once we have the edge vectors, we already know what to do. Uh, I have explained it in, in the previous uh, videos. So we compute the dot product, okay, so quickly, to quickly remind you the idea, we compute the dot product between the edge vectors and the vectors uh, connecting the point P to the edges, okay, so we will take the dot product of this one and this one, and then we will take the dot product of this one and this one. Also remember that the dot products are multiplied by the weighting function W, okay. So we have uh, written the formula for that.